Welcome back. Was that fun? Because we were talking about planets. I like planets. Here we have the planets. And I'm going to go around a certain number of times calling do lens of the planets, do while, do range, and do iterator. So let's look at these. Do lens is a very C-like thing to do. I'm going to start my I at zero, and I as long as I is less than the length of the sequence, I will access it. I'm not doing anything except accessing it and adding one to the I. The do while, which is kind of an emulation of a do while and see, I start with my I equals zero. And I'm going to remember my sequence len because up here I went around and around taking len over and over the same sequence. You want to be very careful about putting len in a situation where it'll take the len more than once of the same sequence. That's pretty slow. And as long as my i is less than that len, I will access my sequence of i and then bump up i by one. The range. Here's another way to do it. I will take the length of my sequence and I will establish the range of it, which is just perfect for my eyes to access sequence I. And here's the iterator where I take advantage of the fact that every sequence and lots of other things can iterate and I can just go through them and get each element in my sequence with the label or the identifier on it of element. I want to point out that by far the easiest to read and write and not make a mistake is a do iterator. Let's see how they compare with the timing. Well, here's our iterator, and it's very quick. The do while looks like it takes twice as much time. The do lens, oh, much more. This is the one where we took the len once for every item in the iterator. Mm -mm, very slow. OK, so we like the iterator, the built-in iterator for many reasons. That's it for this lab. I'll see you when you're ready to move on.